Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the 2023 M2, this time in black sapphire. Now, of course, this is a customer ordered car, and I think this is the first time the customer ordered the car is actually picking up the car. So we had a couple backouts on the M2 that arrived before, so not including our Haya model, that would be the Zanvert Blue M2, as well as the Toronto Red M2. And this one's actually decently optioned, and they'll be in the usual spec, which you've already probably seen, and that's cognac interior. So the first time the M2, or the grandfather, the 1M, doesn't have a black interior. So we can see we have the shadow line package with the shadow line lights. We also have the lighting package. So I think the first time we've seen full LEDs on the M2. So M2 badging and our double slat kidney girls now horizontal. I got all these openings for air. See an oil cooler down there and the radiator. So again, a lot of open stuff in here. So really aggressive front bumper. And whether or not you want to get some protection for coolers, that's going to be up to you. We're going to take a step back and then make our way to the side. So we've got the style 930, and they're technically both called 930s, in black. We also won the tire lottery here with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss and the red M compound brake calipers which really fill up this wheel. So 19 inch wheel in the front, 20 inch in the back, just like its big brother, the M4. And take a step back, take in the side profile of the M2, which I think it looks pretty good. Again, the one thing it's missing is the side breather gill with the badging for the M2. I wonder if that's gonna be the case for the future M vehicles as well. So we got the 20 inch wheel in the back so 285s in the back, so bigger than the previous gen. Previous gen, at least for the M2 OG one, was 265. So this one's got the M clips there in the rear caliper, so single piston floating caliper. Some of the M3s, M4s coming in don't have that little M clip-on thing. Move into the back. Shell line package also gets you black exhaust tips. And they're very wide fenders in the rear. It's extremely aggressive looking. Let's pause here for that nice three-quarter view. Again, real aggressive front and rear arches on the fenders. Reminiscent of the E30 M3. And I said before, the front reminds me of the E36 M3, at least the boxy front end, not the headlights. Those are an homage to the 2002. All right, so opening up, we have the Cognac interior again. One of three options, not including the buckets that you could get. So cognac seats look pretty good against the black sapphire. A nice contrast. An M2 badging on the door sill. And I'll note, no carbon fiber roof. This one's got the moon roof, which is an, which is an option on the M2. So on the interior, we got our standard M steering wheel. M1 and M2 buttons up here. No active cruise control, so you got the dumb version of cruise control. I drive eight in front of me. Carbon fiber interior trim, which, in which includes the inlets here for the steering wheel, as well as across the center console area of the dashboard. Down here with, of course, the start of the show being the six-speed manual transmission, an option for the M2 at no cost. No heads-up display, which is also another option. All right, so let's talk about pricing on this particular one, which is nicely equipped. So starting price of the 2023 M2 is $62,200. Metallic paint, another $650. The leather is included. So you can also get the blue with contrast. So you can also get black with blue contrast stitching or the tricolor. Of course, also the bucket seats. 
Shell line package, another 300 bucks. Lighting package for another 650. 200 bucks for the heated steering wheel. I don't understand why that's not standard. Carbon fiber trim, 800. And all told MSRP of $65,795. So again, fairly nicely equipped. There's a few other options you could add. Most of it's gonna be like carbon fiber roof, bucket seats, active cruise control, and a couple other ones. Uh, parking assist package, I think is the other one. All right, let's go in the back, but oh no, the parking assistance package on this one does not include the 360 cameras. And we got illuminated M trim on the door panel. And seat belts do have the M stitching, as well as in the rear seats. You move the seat forward and go all the way forward. All right, so here's the view from the back seat with our moonroof shade open. Climate control on the back for your unfortunate rear passengers. And I say that because knee room and leg room, a little bit to be desired. And of course, Headroom is a big issue for taller passengers. Not a very comfortable place to be in the back seat if you're riding in an M2. All right, make our way to the back here and pop the trunk. Already popped it, there is no kick to open feature on the M2, M3, M4. So in the back, here's what your cargo area looks like. Over here, most of the BMWs from factory come with a manual in the back. Also got our mobility kit. No extra storage underneath any compartment here, but a decent sized trunk. All right, I'll make our way to the front of the vehicle and pop the hood. This very good looking M2. Of course, two new colors for the M2 in 2024. Uh, it's frozen port mile blue. And I forget the other frozen color, probably pure gray. So underneath the hood is the S58 inline six three liter twin turbo engine. So detuned from the M3, M4, so it's 453 horsepower and 406 torques. You can see our strut braces going across there. Our BMW M power. All right, take a step back, but that's it for a, another tour around an M2. So we've got a couple more coming in one of which will have the M performance suspension on it. So hopefully I'll be able to get that one on the channel, but we'll see you at the next video.